Hey everybody, it's Anna. Time for the Tuesday card in this week's tarot story. Today we have the Six of Wands reversed. So wands are connected to the element of fire. They're about feeling empowered and excited and energized and passionate. And the number six is about finding ourselves in harmony with the world around us. So if we cart, turn this card upright, we show a guy returning from some kind of victory. We know that because he's carrying this wreath of victory. And he's surrounded by people who are celebrating him. So in this moment, he's experiencing communal harmony. He has come back from his great quest. People are, they understand what he's done. They're excited about it. They're patting him on the back. They're saying, Yay, you. They're celebrating him. So there's this idea in the six here that um, we are being embraced by the world, which which honors us, which recognizes our vision and our passion and is encouraging us, is celebrating us and giving us a sense of harmony, of being seen and loved and received just as we are. This card came to us reversed. Now, sometimes when we see this come reversed, it can suggest that we don't feel in harmony with those around us. But I want to challenge that a little this time. I don't want to read the reversal that way. And that's because we had the sun reversed yesterday. And I talked about how the sun reversed suggests to me that we are not fully understanding or embracing or owning our actual giftedness. And the challenge of the sun is to recognize that even if you don't pay attention to your giftedness and you don't own it, you don't recognize it, it doesn't matter because you are essentially gifted. You are essentially gifted. You are essential blessing the moment you come on the planet. So even if we don't do a good job of acknowledging it, we can't even stop ourselves from being a blessing, right? So it's not about other people recognizing this in us. It's about us owning it for ourselves and allowing ourselves to be um, uplifted by the recognition that we are a, a source of power and good on the planet. So the reversal in this case then to me isn't about other people not being in harmony with us. In fact, there may be lots of people in harmony with us. This is about us being in harmony with ourselves. You can have the whole world patting you on the back and saying how awesome you are. But if that voice is not also in your own head, you're not hearing it. And you can't replace the voice in your own head with other people's voices. So it's important for us to get, um, to kind of develop a pattern in our own minds and our own narratives of talking about how great we are, of acknowledging the amazing things we've done and, and um, acknowledging our passion and patting ourselves on the back, becoming our own cheerleader. Because that is a cause, that is a, a deficiency we can't make up for with other people. Um, I have definitely been in the situation where other people were telling me they really love something or something was really great and and I was actually deaf to it because that same voice wasn't in my own head. And so I've had to work at that. And I think we all need to work at that because we, our mind has a tendency, our, our, our um, linear mind has a tendency to focus on what's not going well because its function is to solve problems. That means it's not noticing when things are going well because that's not a problem to solve. So we have to almost develop a second narrative and actually teach our minds a new narrative, which is about really acknowledging and making a big deal about all the amazing things we've done so that we can honor and acknowledge and kind of own the sun reverse or the sun upright, actually, which is we are a, a source of, of light and vibrancy and passion and, and beauty in the world. That's what we're here for. We're going to do it whether we choose it or not. So if you choose it, and if you acknowledge it, if you integrate it, it just makes life a more fun journey. That's our Tuesday card. See you tomorrow for our next one. Bye.